Hello, I'm so glad you came in. Today, I'm going to be talking about one of the most powerful weapons we have, a beautiful weapon that God has given us. We're going to discuss it in just a moment. I'll be right back. so happy that you stayed. We're going to talk about the power of our tongue, the power we have to bless people and to harm people with that tongue of ours. We're going to talk about the good and the bad and the ugly with the way we speak. So first, let's do this clever little lesson or a little, let's do a little adventure here. I'm going to, um, We're going to be really quiet. Just close your eyes. Just relax for a minute. And I want you to think back in your back into your past, maybe all the way to your childhood. And think of something someone has said to you, your mother, your great uncle, the lady next door, a school teacher, your big brother, someone who said something that they didn't even think about it being that big a deal, but it hurt you. And I'd like for us to walk through that. So just close your eyes and let's think just for a moment. Now, I know that 90% of us in that 15 seconds, that's all it took for God to bring right up to you something that was hurt, that hurt you, even from childhood or from yesterday, something that that caused you to be, to be bruised, to call that caused you to feel less than perfect, that caused you to feel un, unappreciated or unrecognized of your value. And so we're going to talk about that. Proverbs 18, 21 says, the tongue has the power of life and death. The stakes are high. Your words can either spark life or they can speak death or humiliation or sadness over our very souls. Our tongues can build others up or they can tear them down. And and then this was, I found this in in an awkward way and it was amazing to me. This sentence says, an unchecked fire doubles in size every minute. You know, there's been so many forest fires uh, in California and different parts of the country that I was, you know, I've looked for things about fires. And an unchecked forest fire doubles in size every minute. Now, why am I mentioning an unchecked forest fire when we're talking about the power of the tongue? Because we can say something flippant, something we just think is tacky, but not harmful. But when it lands in someone else's heart, it turned out to be harmful. And that thing grew, doubled every minute. It's extremely humbling to me what we can do to others. James 3, 9 through 12 says, with the tongue, we praise our Lord and Father. And then with that same tongue, we curse human beings who have been made in the very image of God's likeness. Out of that same mouth comes praise and cursing. My brothers and sisters, this should not be. Can both can both fresh water and salt water flow from the same same spring? My brothers and sisters, can a fig tree bear olives or a grape vine bear fruit? Neither can salt springs produce fresh water. So we have to stop and think. Can we change our world by changing our words? I found 17 Bible verses talking about the power of the tongue. 
I will put those down in the description box so that you, I'll give you the RUL so you can find that and just read those verses that talk about how powerful our tongue is and what it can do to others. I want to talk to you about the words now that we speak in very important places, like in our workplace, in our church, or in our home. We have to be careful how we use that power of our tongue to either bless or curse those we want to build up, those we want to, we don't want to tear down. We Now that we realize that we're tearing someone down, now that you have realized that still in your memory as a hurt someone else said to you i know that you do not want to tear anybody down we think of ourselves as good christian women we think of ourselves as strong christian men we do not want to tear other people down with our mouth and yet it's done every day in the book of numbers we see that the chief roles of some of the priest was giving god's blessing God ordained these words for the priestly blessings over us. And it says, the Lord made his face to shine upon you and to be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. That's in number 6, 24 through 26. Now, God spent a lot of time making sure that his priest realized how important his word over them was and he spent a lot of time making sure those men understood how to say the right things to us that would cause us to feel safe and happy and it that whole that whole verse those two verses are all about giving us peace so god set a pattern for us that when we pray over other people or when we speak over other people, when we speak to our co-workers, when we speak to our children, our grandchildren, the lady next door. At that time, we should do everything we can to bless them, to lift them up, to keep them feeling like they have peace in their life and that they are well loved and respected. That is so important that we understand that we are loved and respected by man and by God. We learned from that little lesson a few minutes ago that all we have to do is close our eyes, go back for a few seconds and realize where someone hurt us in our past. So a couple of things I want to suggest. One, I'm asking that when you when we get through with this video, when you, as soon as we close this video, I'm asking you to do this. I'm asking you to just close your eyes and say, God, I did not realize that pain was still there. I did not realize what they said to me was so bad. I still remember it. And it came right up out of my spirit. So father God, I ask, I make a conscious decision say that, that you make a conscious decision to forgive the person who hurt you with their tongue, with what they said. You make a conscious decision. When you forgive, forgiveness is not an emotion. You'd like it to be, but it's really not. Forgiveness is a conscious decision to cut that person away from you. They're no longer part of you by cutting that off. By forgiving them, you set them free to do their thing, and you are set free to do your thing. You are no longer bound to them by hurt and pain. You're no longer bound to that pain. And the sweet thing about when you forgive someone, at first you still have the memory really strong. But day after day, week after week, within a few days or a few weeks at most, they're gone. The pain of it is totally gone. So the memory is almost gone. Now, God never takes away our memory, but he does take away the pain. And suddenly the memory is not a big deal. It's not sad anymore. It's not awful anymore. 
it's gone. And that's the way we as Christians want to live. We want to make the people at work feel uplifted, feel like they're of great value. And so we want to say only positive things into their into their into the things we speak over them. We want to them, we want to encourage them to be good workers, to do good at work, but we also want to bless their personal lives. We also want our lives to be without stress and, and worry. And the kinder we are to other people, what we sow, we receive. What we sow, we reap. What we sow grows. So I am suggesting to you that every day on your way to work, on your way to fix the children's breakfast, on your way to your morning walk, that you say, God, I make a conscious decision today to serve you and to use my tongue for that kind of wonderful power that I do not cause pain, but I encourage, I, I um, bring to them peace and I will be, will set a, a new course in my life for bringing peace and comfort to everyone. And now, again, I want to remind you that before you even move from your chair, before you even go, you know, click the channel to another, to another YouTube channel, you talk to God about the person you remembered hurt you, you forgive them. And we move forward. You ask God to bless them. You forgive them. You, you now say that you find them blameless. And you let them go. And then you ask God's blessing on their life and on your life. And it will be so. I'd like to pray now. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I come before you. I thank you for this audience. Father, I thank you that they are blessed blessed, blessed. Father, I thank you that everyone in this audience is blessed financially, emotionally, physically, spiritually, and even with creativity. This, my channel, these people who come in here with us, Father God, they are blessed because you love them, you care for them, and you want the best for them. I thank you, Father, that you are encouraging them and where they have hurt, Father, I thank you that you will heal it. Where they have sadness, I thank you that you will take it up. You will, you will bear that burden for them. And Father, I thank you that they will remember that they were formed in the throne room by you. And you, that every person who watches these videos realizes that they are of great value to you. Because you formed them. You wrote their book. You blew the breath of air into them and you've sent them back to earth to enjoy this earth and you're going to help them all the days of their life in the name of jesus amen and amen thank you so much for being here i'm so pleased that you have been i do want you i'm asking as politely as i know how for if you have not already i would like for you to subscribe click that little subscribe button. And of course, I always want you to hit the thumbs up. But the most important thing I want you to do is see that little word that says share. I would like you to share this video with someone you know has has some hurts and pains from their past, from, from things people have said over them, or, or they might just need encouragement. So whatever it is, I'm asking if everyone here would just send um, this one share. I'm not asking you to share it with 40,000 people. Just send it to one person and let them know that you go to this channel for, for um, information and for encouragement and that it can be encouragement to them. And I thank you so much for that. I will be um, publishing a new video every Wednesday. I'd like for you to look for that. So when you hit subscribe, that way you always know. And if case you don't know, I'm crazy for you. And I pray all the time for the anointing on this 
on these videos and on this channel and that you are blessed beyond measure. I want you to have a great day. I know that when tonight comes, you're going to sleep well because you've been here with a group of people who care and cherish one another. I'll see you soon. Bye.